and welcome to our channel. This video is on the topic formulating clear and specific research questions. After watching this video, you will know the definition of a research question, the importance of a well-defined research question, the characteristics of well-defined research questions, the types of research questions, and the steps in crafting clear and specific research questions. To start with, what is a research question? A research question is the question a study says to answer. The question should be specific, clear, and it should align with the overall objectives of the research. The research question is the foundation for the whole research endeavor. Some studies can have two or more research questions. Let's now examine the importance of a well-defined research question. The foundation of any successful research project is a specified research question. A well-defined research question is crucial for the following reasons. A well-defined research question provides clarity and focus. It guides methodological choices. It facilitates literature review. It shapes the research design. It enhances relevance and meaningfulness. A well-defined research question is in hypothesis formulation. It supports clear communication. It facilitates application and extension. It contributes to research rigor and guides data analysis and interpretation. However, in this video, we only cover a few of them. Please find the details in the Essentials of Research Methodology for Students and Professionals book. To obtain a copy, please visit the address shown. Regarding providing clarity and focus, a well-crafted research question clarifies the specific problem or phenomenon being studied, and this has focus to the study. A well-defined research question gives the research a focus, eliminating uncertainty and guaranteeing that the goal of the investigation is expressed in plain terms regarding facilitating literature review. A comprehensive literature review cannot be done without a clearly defined research question. It is in identify current understanding, the gaps in the field, and the pertinent theories about the study subject. A well-defined research question shapes the research design. The research question is a critical factor in determining the overall research design. It imparts choices about the size and scope of the study, how participants are chosen, how data collection is done, and how the research is organized overall. A well-defined research question guides data analysis and interpretation. The choice of statistical tests, qualitative analysis techniques, and other analytical strategies are all influenced by the research question, which directs the data analysis process. It guarantees that the analysis directly relates to the research goals and produces insightful interpretations of the results. Now let's examine the characteristics of well-defined research questions. The characteristics of well-defined research questions include clarity, specificity, relevance, feasibility, Collection to theory and literature, measurability, clarity in language and terms, inherent interest and significance, open-ended in nature, and alignment with the South Paradigm. In this video, we examine some of them. The details of the many ones are available in the book Essentials of Science Methodology for Students and Professionals. To obtain a copy, please visit the address shown. Regarding clarity, well-defined research questions are expressed straightforwardly and clearly. When a study question is straightforward, stakeholders and researchers can understand it easily. Clarity reduces the possibility of misunderstanding and confusion and gives the study a fine basis. Regarding specificity, practical research questions are narrowly defined and target a specific facet of the subject of the study. Specificity helps the study focus and enables academics to explore a narrowly defined field of study. Figure 1 shows examples of unclear 
and clear and specific research questions in various fields, including the health sciences, education, and psychology, and other qualities of well defined research questions in feasibility. Within the study limitation, compelling research topics can be addressed while considering practical issues and available resources. Ensuring the research issue is feasible means it can be answered within the allocated budget, time, and logistical restrictions. Another quality of well defined research questions is measurability. Well defined research questions can be measured and empirically investigated. Measurability guarantees that the study topic can be operationalized, enabling investigators to gather information and measure results. Now let's examine the types of research questions. Some of the categories of research questions include Descriptive research questions Exploratory research questions Explanatory research questions Comparative research questions Relationship-based research questions Other categories include Predictive research questions Intervention-based research questions, longitudinal research questions, and qualitative research questions. In this video, we will examine some of them. The details of the many ones are available in the book Essentials of Research Methodology for Students and Professionals. To obtain your own copy, please visit the address here. Regarding descriptive research questions. Descriptive research questions aim to thoroughly explain a phenomenon or investigate the features of a group, circumstance, or event. For example, how common is malnutrition among children under five in a specific urban neighborhood? Regarding comparative research questions, comparative research questions compare two or more groups, conditions, or variables to find similarities or differences. For example, what are the differences in academic performance between students who participate in online learning and those who receive traditional classroom instructions? Regarding intervention-based research questions, intervention-based or experimental research questions manipulate an independent variable and monitor its impact on a dependent variable. For example, what is the effect of a mindfulness-based intervention on reducing symptoms of anxiety in a clinical population? Regarding longitudinal research questions, studying the same people or groups over an extended time to look for changes or development is the goal of longitudinal research questions. For instance, how do couples who attend relationship counseling alter their levels of marital satisfaction over 10 years? Regarding qualitative research questions, qualitative research questions are commonly employed in research when it is crucial to comprehend subjective feelings, perspectives, and social phenomena. For example, what are the actual experiences of people who have experienced a significant change in their career. However, just like quantitative research, in which there are several categories of research questions, the subcategories of qualitative research questions include descriptive research questions, which attempt to characterize a phenomenon. Another one is emancipatory research questions, which produce knowledge that facilitates social action especially for the benefit of marginalized groups. Another subcategory is evaluative research questions, which assess the effectiveness of current paradigms or methodology. Another subcategory is contextual research questions, which describe the nature of what already exists. And finally, there is explanatory research questions, which develop a phenomenon or look into the causes of relationship between what exists. Finally, let's examine the steps in crafting clear and specific research questions. 
The seven critical steps in crafting clear and precise questions are shown in Figure 2. The first step is to identify the research topic. Step 2 is to identify the research problems. Step 3 is to specify the research objectives. Step 4 is to formulate the research questions. Step 5 is to prioritize and refine questions. Step 6 is to ensure alignment with inside paradigms. Step 7 is to collaborate and seek feedback. In this video, we briefly examine the steps in crafting clear and specific research questions. The details are available in the Essentials or Research Methodology for students and professional book. To obtain a copy, please visit the address shown. The first step in crafting clear and specific research questions is to identify the research topic. A research topic is a broad subject or area of interest that the researcher wants to explore, for example, internet use. The next step is to identify the research problem. A research problem is a specific, focused and articulated statement that identifies the issue or gap in knowledge that the researcher intends to investigate. It stems from the broader research topic, for example, internet addiction among undergraduate students. In identifying the research problem, a researcher is expected to consult different sources, including conducting a thorough literature review to know what is available in the literature and the gaps in the literature. The researcher is expected to interview practitioners in the field to gain insight from their experiences and their knowledge. Research problems can emanate from individual researchers' observations and experiences. During their day-to-day -day activities, a researcher is better to consult specialists in other disciplines for them to offer interdisciplinary perspective. This could help in refining the research questions. Research problems can also be identified through deductions from theories. After identifying the research problem, the next step is to specify the research objectives. The researcher is better to state the study's objectives in plain terms. The aim of the study should be specified. These were defined objectives lay the foundation for developing research questions that support the study's goals. The next thing to do is to formulate research questions. Research questions are the inquiries a study aims to address. The researchers are better to create a list of possible research questions by holding a brainstorming session. Several criteria and framework have been developed for formulating clear and specific research questions. In clinical research, the final criteria in compliance with the PICOL framework are instrumental in preparing clear and specific research questions. In contrast, the SPICE criteria, the SPIDER framework, and the PURE framework are often applied in other disciplines including the humanities, social sciences, education, etc. in formulating clear and specific research questions. Figure 3 shows the final criteria for developing clear and specific research questions. In crafting clear and specific research questions, researchers will ensure that the study is feasible. The study should be interesting to the researchers and the academic community. The research should be novel. It shouldn't just be a replication of previous works. You should be able to confirm the food to extend previous findings. Ethical issues should be addressed and the study should be relevant to the field. Figure 4 shows the pickup framework for developing clear and specific research questions. In developing clear and specific research questions, researchers should specify the population to be studied, the intervention involved, the comparison group, if any the outcome of interest, and the time frame for the study. Figure 5 shows other criteria and framework for developing clear and specific research questions. These include the SPICE criteria, which comprise the study setting, the perspective of the research, the intervention or exposure being studied, the comparison group involved, and the evaluation of the outcome of the study. Another one is the SPIDER framework which comprise the sample, the phenomenon of interest, 
the study design, the evaluation, and the research type. There is also the peer framework which compiles the population of patients or problems, exposure to pre-existing conditions, and outcome of interest. These frameworks and criteria are commonly used in the social sciences and humanities. After formulating the research questions, the next thing to do is to prioritize and refine the questions. Researchers are expected to evaluate and prioritize the potential questions based on their relevance, the specificity, and the feasibility. The questions should be refined to ensure that they align with the characteristics of clear and specific questions. After this has been done, the next thing to do is to ensure that the questions align with the research paradigm. Researchers should ensure that the research questions align with the methodological and philosophical presumptions of the selected research paradigm. It is this alignment that will make the study more coherent. The final step in crafting clear and specific research questions is to collaborate and seek feedback. Researchers should share their research questions with their peers, their mentors, or other co-workers for their inputs and comments before finalizing them. The full details of the topics that have been covered are available in the Essentials of Research Methodology for Student and Professional Book. To obtain your own copy, please visit the address show. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your colleagues, and subscribe to our channel for more videos with educative contents like this.